My name is Ruth Kisam. I am the senior advisor for US Institute of Peace um, in Papua New Guinea. My name is Joa Bettini and I am the country program manager for USIP in Papua New Guinea. And most of the services, especially in Papua New Guinea when it's provided, it's focused on the survivors of violence and less on the perpetrators of violence. Male behavior change program it takes a dip different approach. It's um, looking at the other side of the coin, and that is to uh, work with the perpetrators, the male, and um, help them to realize the negative attitude and behaviors that they have towards women and make adjustment changes so they can become um, create equal space for women to participate with them in everything that they do in life. I think one of the um, things that a lot of people need to realize about Papua New Guinea is, is that we've got both patriarchal as well as matrilineal um, cultures that we have where in matrilineal society, women own land. In the patri um, patriarchal society, it's the men. But it's usually the men, even in those matrilineal societies, it's the men that make the decision. And that has been a very contentious point for us as women, emerging women leaders to work within that space because um, a lot of voices have been suppressed. And I think that's what Zoabe is facing now, where how can she bring those voices um, out? The, how can she bring men into the conversation so they are able to realize that uh, they really need to have the voices of women in, in the tables that they sit so that they can make um, decisions that are more harmonious to good community living. I've trained already 40 youths. Um, what I've noticed, the positive impact that I've noticed from this training is just right before the training ended, a handful of men, um, boys, young men, in the training came out and said, oh, we have some you know, special skills here. One said, um, I have been trained in mechanic and I can help other boys in the, in the training who wants to learn about fixing vehicles. Um, the other one said, oh, I have the skill of um, bricklaying. And um, if any boys here wants to go out for, you know, go out and learn how to make brick walls, I can take you through. His team went out, collected stones from the river bank, nearby river bank. They brought them in and they built a stone wall for a church in their community. When we look at this group of people, we, we, all we see is negative. We see them as all oh, criminals. We see them as troublemakers, you know, drug addicts, homebrew addicts. And, you know, we, we have all sorts of negative labels on them. But after taking them through the training, they came out with all most of the positive things that they have in life that they want to contribute to the community. Getting men to own this subject is really important because that goes to the heart of what needs to be sustainable. And when a man talks, everyone in the community listens. And for us, it's not about who we get up there to talk. It's how can the message be driven to people so that everyone comes together and the end result is taken. And that's why getting Zuabe to actually work with young men that have been involved in, um, in, in conflict, that have been involved with criminal activities, but really want that opportunity to change. And that's the, that's the thing that she is giving them the chance. And if, you get, if we get that much men in, um, the replicating effect that it's going to have on other communities is going to be powerful.